Near the Turkish west coast, situated between Troy and Ephesus, and set in all its glory, is one of the most famous and well-preserved ancient cities of this region, Pergamon. Above the fertile plains and city of Bergama, cliffs towering up to 335 meters high were inhabited by the Aeolian Greeks eight centuries before Christ. This, in the Hellenic era, was an ancient cosmopolitan city, the traces of which are still discernible today. After the death of Alexander the Great, his former general and battle companion, Lysimachos, ruled over Western Asia Minor as King of Thrace. He appointed Macedonian officer Phileteros as commander of the city of Pergamon. Phileteros was also ordered to guard and protect Lysimachos who had been presented with an amazing 9,000 gold talents from Alexander. In 281 BC, Lysimachos fought against Seleucos and thus lost his kingdom. Shortly after which, he was murdered. These events were beneficial to Philoteros, who subsequently took power as well as the gold treasure and expanded the city of Pergamon to become the new capital of his new empire. In the 150 years of the reign of the Attalides, the Acropolis was fortified and decorated with magnificent structures. Pergamon became the artistic center of Hellenism and extended its influence over Western Asia Minor. Under Eumenes II, who was already an ally of Rome, the region extended from Pergamon to as far as Ankara. Finally, the last king, Attalos III, bequeathed the empire to the Romans, who subsequently formed their first province in Asia Minor and named it Asia. Athens had lost its political supremacy in the 2nd century BC. Pergamon and Alexandria became the new rival powers of the ancient world. Their rulers also began to compete in both art and science, a fact that led to much progress. The most magnificent of all the buildings was the Temple of Zeus, which in the Book of Revelations is described as being the place upon which the throne of Satan rests. The Zeus altar is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and was the basis of Pergamon's fame. On the Acropolis and further up the higher Agora were the governmental buildings of the cosmopolitan city. The Roman theater is regarded to be the steepest in the ancient world, magnificently cut into the natural cliff face, with 83 rows that seated 15,000. The excavations of ancient Pergamon are there due to pure coincidence 
in 1873, a German road builder, Karl Humann, encountered a farmer who was transporting a section of a wall on his cart. Humann acquired the slab and sent it to Berlin to be examined. As a result, the Berlin Museum financed year-long excavations. And from those finds, a reconstruction of the Great Altar of Zeus was erected in Berlin. The library also has its history. Admittedly, only ruins now exist, though they have revealed much knowledge of the past. Under the kings, there were a few passionate collectors of text. In those days, papyrus from Egypt was used for writing and was made from fibers of the papyrus bush that came from the Nile Delta. However, as Pergamon threatened Alexandria by enjoying the prestige of hosting the great library, the rival Egyptians immediately withheld its export. From that time on, writing in Pergamon was carried out on thin animal skin. It could not be rolled like papyrus, but instead was cut into single pages and bound into blocks known as codices. This new material was henceforth known as pergament. In 41 BC, the largest collection of 200,000 pergaments was relocated to the Library of Alexandria as a wedding present from Mark Antony to Cleopatra where it was later destroyed by fire. Close by evolved the largest medical center of the ancient world, whose reputation was mainly due to Claudius Galenus. The area of ancestral worship of Asclepion, god of salvation, can be acquainted to a present-day alternative medicine center. With water and mud baths at a sacred spring, as well as music therapy, and also the analysis of dreams, healing sleep, and the administration of highly diluted poisons. Today, the only visible remains consist of foundations and sections of temple fountains, water basins and altars. It only takes a little imagination to recall that this place was once full of life. When many came here in search of better health, ancient capital city of the likewise named Hellenic Empire continues to be an impressive symbol of the power, knowledge and wealth of a golden age. <laughs>